another mechanism uh, in hyper dvg is event calling stages or event uh, stages uh let's learn more about this mechanism uh, some of the events in hyper dvg contain an additional parameter known as a stage uh, there are, in hyper dvg there are three different uh, levels uh, or stages of execution which we can use from pre post and all uh, this is the type of uh, stages uh the, this parameter or this stage parameter uh, specified at uh, which stage the event should be triggered uh, for example msr read uh, event uh, in the in the uh, previous stage uh, event of the msr uh, read event uh, the event is triggered before emulating the rdmsr uh, instructions and after rdmsr instruction is executed and the result of this instruction is available in the registers this is the post uh, stage of calling or triggering the, the uh, event uh, this is the this is also the same for uh, most of uh, other events, for example, CPU ID, MSR write, or TSC, PMC. For example, for CPU ID, uh, uh, before uh, CPU ID instruction is actually executed in the target, you have uh, the, the pre stage of the event will be called. And once we're done with uh, running uh, CPU ID instruction and adjust the uh, registers for the CPU the registers that are that are modified by the CPU ID instruction. Then, after that, the post stage will be called, and we can we could easily manipulate the results in uh, the post event. Uh, uh, whenever we specify the all uh, type for event stages, it indicates that the target event should be executed both in the pre uh, event stage and post event stage and uh, you can imagine that by default uh, events all of the events are considered to be triggered in the pre stage so uh, uh, we have uh, in the pre uh, stage we have the ability to ignore the event uh, we, we can use the previously mentioned mechanism for short circuiting or for event ignorance and uh you can imagine it's clear that if we uh, uh ignore the event or uh, if we uh, short circuit the event then uh the post call, uh, calling stage won't be called and uh, the po post will be ignored uh for some events like ept hook or ept hook 2 this mechanism doesn't make sense and it's not supported because it doesn't make sense to just create a uh, 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 calling a stage for a hook which is like uh, which is simply like a breakpoint uh, another useful scenario in which we can use this uh, event calling stages mechanism is for the mantra command uh the different stages of uh, of triggering the monitor command shows the content of memory before and after the actual modification uh, and a uh, uh, sudo register uh, dollar stage dollar sign uh, stage is added uh, to the hyper dvg that shows the uh, calling uh, stage of the uh, of the event for example if this a pseudo register is equal to zero it shows that the target calling stage is pre while if uh, it shows uh, one it means that the uh, target uh, event is executed in a post uh, call stage uh, for example in this example i uh, create a, a write interception or a write ept hook uh, on this address uh, and uh, uh, if the stage of the memory is uh, equals to uh, one then it means uh, the target uh, it means that uh, the tar uh, uh, the tar target event is called in the 
post uh, stage so uh, we could see the current memory uh, we could use the dq uh, function here and uh, the context uh, we know from the previous part that the context shows the uh, address which is the actual address which is modified uh, and uh, printf uh, the uh, modified memory content and also if uh, it's not equal to one then uh, it means that it's equal probably equal to zero so we could use we could see the previous memory and we could uh show the uh, content of memory before it's modified and after it's modified let's see some examples here uh i uh, for this uh, for uh this example i used uh, the write ignore which i showed you uh in the previous section uh as i uh, already explained it uh, it's a simple uh modification uh it's a simple modification uh, it's a simple modification of the memory or uh, it just increments the uh value uh here uh, and after each two seconds it increments the value let's try it again and yes uh, we have uh, the address of value and the uh, process ID. Let's return back to our uh, script. Uh, I write monitor uh, event and uh, it's each, each uh, we should uh, uh, monitor this address and this address plus four and uh, for this specific process ID uh, but this time uh, I specify a uh, stage uh, we could use all stages here we could also use uh, pre-stages here pre-stage is the default stage so if we don't write anything it means that it's pre-stage uh but we can also uh, uh explicitly write uh, write uh, the uh, pre or if we want to uh, use it as a post stage we can use it here uh so in this state i want to show the content of memory before and after it's uh, modified so i simply write all uh and if uh sudo register stage sudo register equals to one it means that it's called uh from uh, uh called after memory modification uh, so I just uh, uh, create the small variables uh, or uh, I call it final value uh, final value is uh, equal to uh, memory at, uh, at this address we use dollar context here again here i want to uh, show you the content of memory before it's being modified so i use a uh, previous value which is again equals to dq the, the same context and a simple uh, printf or current value or the final value previous value is equal to 
and it's also worth to set the comments to avoid confusion skull before so i think it's good let's run it uh, into the target debuggy as you as you can see it's uh, it keeps incrementing uh, so i just put uh, the event here uh it said that uh something is wrong on if oh we forget to write a script uh okay now let's see uh th this is in the hex hexadecimal format so let's let's change it to uh uh decimal format because the target application is in decimal format and also after we show the final value we put a new line right there as we can see uh, we could ma monitor the uh, uh, previous value and the final value or the final modified value here uh, this uh, guest goes to an asleep mode the monitor is turned off but uh, it shows the previous value and the uh, final value uh no we could also perform some some uh, some tasks or some uh conditions for the uh target uh, value if we for example see a special value uh uh let's say we modify it uh here i copy it here and uh, if uh, this process is modified, if the, uh, for example, the target uh, final value uh, is dividable by 10 and it's not equal to uh, zero, then uh, we simply reset this value reset it to zero mm. we could use eb uh, or uh, eq and uh, set the uh, context to uh, zero and show a message here that indicates that we reset the count. Now let's test the DC script. Uh, Uh, as we can see, uh, it's uh, it's not dividable by ten because we for forgot that it's uh, based on uh, ten or uh, in in decimal format is based on sixteen. So we just need to uh, change it to uh, zero. Uh, n or decimal format of 10 because we want it to be dividable by actual 10 not in the hexadecimal format so uh, let's return to the guest again as you can see once it reaches to a 10 um, whenever the final value is 10 uh, it keeps resetting uh, this uh, variable and we, we could see uh, it's 
effects on uh, uh, both the debugger and in the target debugging. 